A hearty pot of baked beans is a great side dish any time of year, but a lot of times they're too sweet or they're overcooked and mushy. In the Chow Test Kitchen, our recipe uses a slow cooker instead of the oven so that you can put the ingredients in, turn it on, and just walk away. To start, soak one pound of dry navy or pea beans the night before. Put the beans in a large bowl and pick through them and throw out any broken beans or any stones that you might find. Cover with at least three inches of water and just put it aside for at least eight hours. Soaking the beans helps to rehydrate them so that they cook evenly, so make sure that you don't forget this part. It might seem like a pain, but I promise you it'll only take two minutes. Once the beans are soaked, drain them in a colander and put the bowl aside to mix your sauce in. Go ahead and place the beans in the slow cooker. Next, you're gonna chop up a half a pound of thick cut bacon and one yellow onion into small pieces, and you're gonna throw it on top of the beans in the slow cooker. If you're having trouble cutting up the bacon because there's a lot of fat and it's slippery, just put it in the freezer for 15 minutes first and it'll firm right up. Grab the bowl and add two and a half cups of water, half a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup each of dark molasses and dark brown sugar, a tablespoon each of cider vinegar, Dijon mustard and kosher salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. Look for molasses labeled dark or robust, but don't use blackstrap, which has a more bitter flavor. Whisk everything together, pour it into the slow cooker, and stir to combine. Put the lid on, turn on the slow cooker, and cook until the beans are tender but not falling apart. Since slow cookers vary in cooking temperatures, just check on it after six hours. If the beans aren't ready yet, just keep cooking them and check on them every half an hour until they're done. These baked beans are now ready to eat, but the great thing is it's one of those dishes that gets even better as it sits, so you can make it a day or two ahead and it even freezes really well. These slow cooker baked beans are the perfect balance of creamy beans, not too sweet sauce, and smoky bacon. They'll go well with grilled meats or hot dogs, or even with some brown bread for a simple dinner. And there you have it, the easiest way to make slow cooker baked beans.